I've liked snakes ever since I was a little kid. I've kept the species before they became protected and was very interested in them. I bred the other species uh, that's also listed. We had one of the largest clutches of uh, Northern Mexican garter snakes available to release all at once. I thought that um, there were snakes that bit at, at first, so I was a little scared. And I also thought that they were going to be pretty big too, but they are relatively small. Um, so I was a little bit scared. Today we released 39 northern Mexican garter snakes into the pond. In captivity altogether this year, I think we had 97 neonates born, so we did a partial release of that total group of neonates this year. Um, the others were released back to the source population where they came from. We had a really good mix of males and females. Um, we had a ratio that is biologically significant um, from that standpoint. Uh, they've all been, since the day they've been born, they're fed live fish, and so they've learned to hunt on their own. Um, so by releasing them into this environment that is um, replicated uh, to look just like their natural environment where they're from, they're already having those hunting skills. Um, they're not handled often, so they know to be fearful and evasive, and they have very complex habitat here. Um, and so all the snakes released today looked really happy and healthy. Hopefully the next step is that these guys hunker down, they continue to eat. Um, we're going into the fall and so our hopes is where we released them was um, to hopefully get them familiar to what's known as hibernaculum. So once the cooler temperatures and the photo period, their daylights become shorter, that these guys are going to go into those hibernaculum, hibernate, and then come spring, come back out, um, and hopefully we'll be able to detect them again to see if they've actually survived and, and uh, Wisted the winter. Horseshoe is significant. It's one of our department owned properties that was purchased um, with this pond available, and it was a stronghold for uh, bullfrogs, which are an invasive species and harmful to the riparian area here, um, both for the reptiles and then the amphibians that are present. Um, and so when we purchased Horseshoe, we were able to renovate the pond and get rid of a significant source of those bullfrogs and fence it off. Um, Horseshoe Ranch is smack dab in the middle of the Agua Fria River drainage, which is also historically um, one of the sites in central Arizona that the Mexican garter snakes thrived in. Arizona has a really unique and sensitive ecosystem, especially in our riparian areas, and so these might not be your big fuzzy critters that you're used to seeing on the landscape that are really cool to look at like a bear or an elk, but they are um, they're prehistoric dinosaurs that existed in our landscape for, for generations previous to us. Um, they, are, they do have a role as a predator, and so they have checks and balances within our ecosystem. Um, and so it's really important from a conservation standpoint that we try to keep the ecosystem as balanced as, um, as we can in what it used to be and moving forward into the future as, as best as we can. The hopes are that it, with long-term um, non-native and water management in this watershed that we can use Horseshoe Ranch as a source population into the future to repatriate the Agua Fria River and its surrounding drainages and uh, metaphorically speaking lift our fence and let these snakes go back into their natural environment and drainage.